Hi everyone, how are you? So it is officially November, which means that I am starting my no buy November. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory if you guys watch YouTube videos or you like makeup in general. A no buy just basically means you're not buying anything for that month. It could be a month. I've had some people say they've been doing it like all year already, which I think is awesome if you can do that. I definitely can't. I feel like my YouTube videos would be incredibly boring if I went on a no buy just because I couldn't talk about new products or things like that, but I figured one month, maybe two, if I can stretch it out, isn't too so bad. So I just wanted to make a video telling you guys about it in case you've never heard of a no-buy, tell you why I'm doing it, and seeing who's going to join in with me. So no-buy November, like I said, is just basically where I'm not going to buy any makeup for the month of November. I'm not including clothes just because I don't buy a lot of clothes. I'm really like selective with the clothes I do buy, so if I see a good deal in November for clothing, I'm definitely going to get it. But um, makeup, on the other hand, I just think that I could use a break from buying makeup. So the first reason I'm doing No Buy November is because this time of the year is so expensive. The holidays are literally right around the corner and I don't know about you but it is the most expensive time of the year for me which is kind of sad because it's not what the holidays are all about but it, on the other hand it's still fun to get gifts and give gifts and show people in your life that you care about them through giving gifts because there's nothing wrong with that. So December like I said can get so expensive so it's always nice to save a little bit of money and just not spend money on myself on makeup for the month of November. That's number one. I mean, I don't spend a ton of money on makeup to begin with, but if I add it all up throughout the month, I mean, I would say it's a significant amount. Nothing crazy, not like hundreds of dollars, but even if I spend a hundred dollars or fifty dollars on makeup during the month, I feel like that's a nice bit of money to save. The second reason is to just use up the makeup that I have, either use it because it's close to its expiration date or rediscover new products that As I you love. You can see I have enough makeup. I don't even need more makeup, so it's nice to be able to go in and try like a foundation I used to love or a lipstick I haven't tried yet and just rediscover new products or discover new products that I haven't even tried before that I, you know, would like again or like to use. The third reason is that I don't want to promote a philosophy of like, you have to buy this or you need this or you need more because that's not what I'm about, that's not what my channel's about. And I know that watching videos here in the beauty community, even I feel like this, I feel like, oh, I need to run out and get that. Oh, I need to run out and get that palette. I need to try this. I need to try this. Which again, there's nothing wrong with that because makeup is just like a fun thing. It's a fun hobby, but I don't ever want you to think like, oh, I don't have that, I need that, or like after you watch my video, I'll be like, oh, like I'm, I'm sad because I don't have that. That makes sense. I mean, to a certain degree. When I watch a review video and I want to try something, I'm going to go out and get it and not feel guilty about it, but I just don't want to promote the idea of that, like, you have to buy this, you have to buy this, buy makeup, it'll make you happy, things like that. So I think it's important every once in a while to just you know, stop buying it, just take a break from it. I don't know if that even makes sense, but that's how I feel, and I think that it's just nice to take a little break every once in a while. So if you would like to join in on No Buy November, or if you're already on a No Buy, then that is really fun. We can keep each other accountable, and you can leave a comment down below letting me know some of your tips and your tricks, and if you have any temptation, you can tweet me, and I'll tweet you back, and you could share pictures on Instagram, and it's also fun to, like, tell me or others if you're enjoying a product that you just rediscovered, different things like yes, that. I do know that Black Friday is in the month of November, but I don't really buy a lot on Black Friday. It's like a family tradition to go. Ever since we've been little, we've been going with our dad, and we go shopping, which is fun, but I don't really ever buy that much stuff, and if I do, it's definitely not makeup related, because you know, I feel like makeup doesn't really go on sale on Black Friday where I live. I don't have like a Sephora or Ulta close, so Black Friday won't be a problem. If it's a problem for you, just end your no buy before Black Friday, or if you really want to challenge yourself, but try not to buy anything on Black Friday. <laughs> it's kind of hard, but um, I don't know. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any videos that you're interested in seeing this month, let me know. But I hope you guys have a great month of November, whether you are buying makeup or not, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!